Vietnam, there were eight women whose names are on the wall. That number might seem low to us today because we let women closer to the front line, but here's the residual effect. They, the eight women, most of them were nurses, right. which mean how many other people died as a result of the lack of nurses. It's just atrocious that nurses were shot down out of the sky. They don't hide them. They have a big red cross on the, on the helicopter. Absolutely sickening. Eight trays for eight souls. Isn't that beautiful? And all of us that are Christians love this memorial. For all the world, this looks like Michelangelo's Pieta to start. So it looks like a Mary cradling the dying Jesus. So there's that. And we have a nickname for this memorial. We call it Faith, Hope, and Charity. So the woman in front, sure, she's trying to nurse the dying soldier. The woman around the side, maybe she's counting up the provisions. And the woman that's looking at the sky, she's calling in the next helicopter. Fine, but couldn't it also be, and this is what we all say, that she's cradling, representing the greatest of all love and that this woman is kneeling in prayer, so that's faith, and the woman looking to the sky is hope. So we call it Faith, Hope, and Charity. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, come and take a look on your photos, and then we're gonna head back so to the bus. Diane, in this book I read, um, but to be respected as the... Wow, that's a whole lot of whatever that is. Ants, there's big ants. Good grief. Ooh. Oh, I'm touching that ant. First Lieutenant Ann Cunningham, USA, served two tours with the Army Nurse Corps. She worked as an operating room nurse in 67, 68, and 6970. Vietnam War Women's Memorial Foundation. Margot Lumi served with the American Red Cross. She is pictured with US Marines in 